Hi and welcome to this video on why bee populations are in decline. Bee populations have been declining in recent years, and this trend is causing great concern among experts and policymakers alike. This video will explore the reasons behind the decline in bee populations, as well as the consequences of such a decline, and what can be done to mitigate it. The first major factor contributing to the decline in bee populations is the use of pesticides. Pesticides, such as neonicotinoids, are commonly used in agriculture to protect crops from pests and diseases. However, these pesticides can be harmful to bees, killing them directly or affecting their ability to forage for food, navigate, and reproduce. As a result, bee populations in areas where pesticides are heavily used are declining. Another factor is habitat loss. Bees rely on a variety of habitats, including meadows, forests, and urban green spaces, to forage for food and nest. However, as urbanization and agriculture continue to expand, these habitats are being destroyed, reducing the availability of food and nesting sites for bees. This can have a devastating effect on bee populations, particularly those that are already struggling due to other factors, such as disease and pesticide exposure. Climate change is also affecting bee populations. Changes in temperature and precipitation patterns can alter the timing of plant blooms, making it more difficult for bees to find food. Additionally, extreme weather events, such as droughts and floods, can destroy habitats and food sources, further reducing bee populations. A fourth factor is the spread of diseases and parasites, such as varroa mites and colony collapse disorder CCD. These diseases and parasites can weaken bee colonies, making them more susceptible to other threats, such as pesticides and habitat loss. Additionally, they can reduce the number of adult bees, making it more difficult for colonies to maintain their populations. The decline in bee populations has far-reaching consequences for the environment and human society. Bees play a critical role in pollinating crops, including many of the foods we eat, such as fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Without bees, the availability and diversity of these foods would decline, potentially leading to food shortages and higher prices. Additionally, the decline in bee populations would have a ripple effect on other species, as plants that rely on bees for pollination would also decline. This could lead to a decline in biodiversity, which is essential for the health of ecosystems. So, what can be done to mitigate the decline in bee populations? There are several steps that can be taken, including reducing the use of pesticides, protecting and restoring habitats, and reducing the impact of climate change. Reducing the use of pesticides is a critical step in protecting bee populations. This can be achieved through a combination of education, regulation, and incentives. For example, farmers can be educated about the dangers of pesticides to bees, and encouraged to adopt more bee-friendly practices, such as reducing pesticide use and planting bee-friendly crops. Additionally, regulators can implement policies that restrict the use of the most toxic pesticides and encourage the development and use of alternative, more bee-friendly pest control methods. Protecting and restoring habitats is another important step in mitigating the decline in bee populations. This can be achieved by protecting areas of land that are important for bees, such as meadows and forests, and restoring habitats that have been degraded or destroyed. Additionally, urban green spaces, such as parks and gardens, can be designed and managed to provide food and nesting sites for bees. Finally, reducing the impact of climate change is essential for protecting bee populations. This can be achieved through a combination of mitigation and adaptation strategies, such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions, planting drought-resistant crops, and using water management practices that conserve water and protect habitats. Like the video and subscribe to our channel.